Hello guys, I Arbin Mahapatra. Welcome to my YouTube channel. Uh, here I am uploading SQL problem statement and Python problem statement, which will be helpful you to do the interview preparation. After a long gap, I am back to the uh, track. I am back to the YouTube channel. Let's jump into the today's question. So we have two table. Uh, one is student underscore mark table. Another one is grade. So we have. Uh, the three columns are available in the student underscore mark table id name and the total mark and grade is having also three column grade minimum mark and the maximum mark these are the two input table and output should be like this so so here the ask is basically first find the grade of each student as per the marks because here we have the total mark and uh, and here also the minimum mark is there and maximum mark is there so suppose 98 is the total mark for neha and this total mark is 98 so it, it will be fell in between the minimum mark of 90 and maximum mark of 99 so this 98 will fell in between the minimum and maximum marks of grade 9 so this supposed to be grade 9 so neha is having 98 mark with the grade of 9 so we have to align all these marks with the um, al align to the grade with the help of minimum and maximum mark first first is that one and second is sort the table by descending order by the grade and second is if any student grade is below seventh grade then sort the table in ascending order of their total marks for this student only and suppose here here if you will see those people are having those students are having grade is below seventh grade so below seven these people are having the below seventh grade so here what we have to do is we have to sort the table for these people only in the ascending order of the total mark in the sense here it has been sorted out 65 69 and 50 55 it's the, uh, those people are having the grade uh, below 7 for for them you have to sort the table with the help of the total mark in the ascending order and and the last is if the grade is greater than 7 or equal to the 7 then sort the table name table by by the name in alphabetically for these students only so here whatever the grade is like for those people where the grade is greater than or equal to 7 for them we have to sort the table sort this particular name column in the alphabetically so here if you will see Alekia is 98 Neha is and um, sorry Alekia is 93 Neha is 98 and uh, here then Ankita then uh, then Alka is uh, 75 within the grade of 7 and uh, Rohan then it will be um, R A then R so we have to sort it alphabetically those people are having the grade is greater than or equal to 7 so let's jump into the SQL Server Management Studio already I have already I have created uh, the both the table I will paste all this uh, table sample table in the description box of the uh, video so what I will do is let's jump into the this, these are the two tables student underscore mark and grade so what we will do is first we will join both the table then we will do the sorting so what I will do is select star from student underscore mark I will just give a alias I will do inner join with grade and I will give a alias on s dot total mark between because we have to join the table with the help of total marks from the first table that is student underscore mark and we have to join the table of this total mark in between this column minimum mark and maximum mark so how it will how we will write it so g dot minimum mark in between g dot minimum mark and 
जी डॉट मैक्स मार्क सो बेसिकली वॉट वी आर ट्राइंग टू इज वी आर ट्राइंग टू ज्वाइन बोथ द टेबल विद द हेल्प ऑफ दिस टोटल मार्क्स फ्रॉम द स्टूडेंट मार्क्स टेबल एंड वी विल वी हैव टू फाइंड आउट द ग्रेड इन बिटवीन दिस मिनिमम एंड मैक्सिमम मार्क्स बेसिकली सो so let's run it i just give the alias of mars student underscore mars as a s and grade as a g and so let's see it now so for the better simplification so what we need is from the table is we need name we don't need all these all these columns from the bother table so we'll just uh, filter out whatever the things are required that's the reason i am selecting all these required uh, column in the select statement so total mark marks and we will take the grade from the grade column sorry grade table so let's run it now if we'll see it now so the neha is having 98 it's it's failing between this nine uh, grade because if we'll again we'll go back to here i'll try to make you understandable this one this things that we are trying to join the total marks from the student mark from the student uh, mark table with the help of this minimum and maximum mark in the grade table so i will try to join this total mark in between this column so that we can able to find the grade easily so in between minimum mark and maximum mark we will join the total mark with the table of uh, this grid table in between minimum mark and maximum mark so that we can able to find out the grid of the respective rows that's the reason we are using between of these two column so now now the ask is first we have to sort it by the help of grid so i'll just give the alias it's my bad grid that's that by default it will be in the ascending order so we, you have to mention descending that's the reason uh, we am mention descending so now it has been sorted out in the descending order so now the next ask is basically so next ask, ask is let jump to the excel yeah so the next are if any student is a below 7th grade then sort the table in the ascending of their total marks for these students only so whoever is having below 7th so what we will do is case when so we'll just identify the grade is whoever is having below 7 for them we have to sort the table in the ascending order of their total marks so s then s the total mark and we'll just do and and i have to mention ascending uh, anyway um, it's a by default one if you will not also mention ascending it will sort the table in the ascending order so just run it so what it is doing is here the output will be one column uh, uh, one column where when the when the grade is below 7 when the grade is below 7 then the total marks in the sense it will come 65 69 50 55 and it will be it will create a table from from basically it will create table of, of this particular of this particular column and then it to i j as as i mention ascending then it will sort the table in the ascending order so that's the reason 65 is coming first then 69 because it's in between the that particular grade and then it will coming 50 then it will coming 55 so the second ask is done and the last ask is if the grade is greater than or equal to 7 then sort the table by name column in the alphabetically for those students only 
so what I will do is in a similar fashion what I will do I will do we have to find out those people are having grade greater than equal to 7 then we have to sort them in the alphabetically by default it will be in the ascending order till I mention you have to mention and okay I am not mentioning uh, else it will be null by default that's fine because I need the people those people are having grade of greater than 7 so the here the result will be basically here greater than equal to 7 here this column will be populated and then I have to here it will be coming like this now so I want to sort it by alphabetically in the ascending order so I am just filter out in this way case when 7 grade is greater than 7 so just reflect the name and then sort this this particular name only so that's the reason I am mentioning a condition here so let's run it so if you'll see here now what I will do is I will I will I will just see here now Alekia is a n then again a then again a within that one then again it's coming r so now it has been sorted out with the uh, help of the ascending order in the alphabetically so so if we'll run it here what i will do is if we'll run it here you will see this one so i will just take a snapshot of this one and i will keep it for you so that we can understand yeah so let me run it yes so see so here the previously it was it, it was looking like this the Neha was in the top one and Alekia is in top two so now it has been sorted out so this basically this call this particular first uh, f first four rows sorry first five rows till seven so now what I did is I have written a case statement just filter out with the condition of greater than grade is greater than equal to seven so that I got only four Neha, Alekia, Ankita, Alka and Rohan till fifth row I got this or this particular column till fifth row and then I have sorted out with the help of this particular column with the help of ascending order so that it has been ascended or uh, it has been sorted out by alphabetically here so we can uh, sort it out one single table multiple order by and multiple with the help of this case statement it's little bit of easy if you have any better approach to sort it out one table with multiple condition then do let me know in that in the comment section thank you for watching my video please do like subscribe and click the bell icon to get the new video live your life live your dream thank you